Hi, it's Jansen from VMO. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. You may remember a couple of days ago, I did a video on the all new braking strain in the Cedra Tough Taper Tapered Shock Leader. This one goes from 25 to 100 pound. That's probably the heaviest tapered shock leader on the market. Makes it perfect for fishing for species like taupe with their abrasive skin, but also fishing over the rough ground marks. We did have a couple of questions in the comments section of that video asking how to go about tying a tapered shock leader. Well, guess what? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's start tying this shock leader knot. First thing I'm going to do is make a loop in the main line. And this loop's going to be going to be about 10 inches. So a nice length to work with. 10 inches of loop there. Now once I've made that loop, I'm just going to wrap it around my thumb. One, two, three times. I'm going to pinch those wraps together. And I'm going to take the loop I've made and push it back through the middle. Then I'm going to open up those coils like this. I'm going to get my thumb, both of my, my thumb and my forefinger in the middle, just like this. And what that does, it evens up every part of the knot. So the two parts of line that are wrapped around my fingers there, they're both equal. Okay, I'm going to pull them down slightly towards this bigger loop just to make the main loop that we're forming a little bit smaller. So once I've done that, you'll see this is how the knot looks. Now pinching together with the thumb and the forefinger to keep everything tight, I'm going to pull this down. So I've got to wet it down a little bit first just to encourage it to slide down. And I pull that down nice and slow. And you'll see that should. There we go. Perfect. So you've got a really nice, small, compact loop there. So you don't want a really long loop. You want that loop to be compact. The shorter it is, the better, really. But you still need to be able to work with it when you're tying the shock leader on. So we've got the tag ends coming off there. We can obviously remove that now. Get in nice and close. Perfect. So now we've made the first part of our spider hitch. The next thing we need to do is put the tapered shock leader on there. So as I mentioned in the video the other day that featured this new tough taper breaking strain, the first thing I like to do is just pull off a few feet of this line, so just so it thickens up slightly. And I wanna be knotting to around about sort of 30 pound breaking strain. So there we go, that's just started thickening up nicely. About there, I'd say. So that you can see that's a decent kind of thickness to work with. Now, this is the easy bit. Remember, we've tied half of the knot already. There's my loop that I've just made. Here's my tapered shock leader. I'm going through the loop and I'm just going to trap it between my two fingers. And I'm then going to replace my forefinger with my thumb like this. And then I'm just going to pinch that line one, two, three, four five times around and that hole that I've made is going to go back 
through it. I'm going to pull it through. So you should have something at this stage that looks like that. Next thing I'm going to do is wet that down. So it looks something like that. Now the trick with this knot, with this part of the knot anyway, is not to tease it down slowly, but just to give it one pull, like that. And I can pull that really, really hard. And you'll see, it's formed a really nice, tight, snugged down knot. There's the tag end coming off at a right angle. So I'm just going to trim that down. And we can possibly even go a little bit tighter than that. That's perfect. So there's the finished article. A really slim, streamlined, reliable knot for your tapered shock leader onto your fixed spool reel. Well, there we go. That's a brand new tapered shock leader tied onto this reel. If you've got a question you'd like to ask us, leave a message in the comments section and I'll do my best to get back to you. Catch you again.